Vito! Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez, good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. Got a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing. Because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. Pretty good while you was locked up, but now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. You really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited me. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise plan for you. But don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. What do you got, an aversion to red lights? Close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place look like an ex-con. My kind of place. Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two. Maybe three. And it doesn't squeak. Always a plus in my book. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? 
Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you. I know you. If you like what you see, let me know. Will that be all? How can I help you? Are you looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Here you go. Pick a design. Thanks a lot.
Jeez, I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad, nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I am. How's it going? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah. This is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scarpa. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas. I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh, funny business in the can. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. Hey, you waited this long. We'll tell him in the car. Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head to Oyster Bay. Okay, so Vito, what was the one thing you missed the most when you was in a camp? Freedom. Yeah, yeah well, but besides that. Nah, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you're getting closer. <laughs> what are you guys, taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? Ah, uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? What do you got, an aversion to red lights? See that light turn red? <laughs> 